the fifth Sunday after Pentecost, year A. From Psalm 45, the king will have pleasure in your beauty. He is your master, therefore do him honor. In the name of the Lord our King, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Seems a little strange to be speaking of kings on Independence Day weekend, but then these are strange readings. The passage from the Romans projects moral confusion through a kind of grammatical confusion. It's saying that we don't understand our own actions. We can't even be sure that our actions are our own. We have an idea of who we want to be, how we want to act, but we feel trapped in conditions beyond our control. Rebecca has a similar dilemma. Now, Abraham's servant experiences this situation as miraculous, right? Because it's a, a solution to the problem of finding a bride for Isaac. But how might this have felt to Rebecca? She comes to the well and responds with kindness to a thirsty traveler. And suddenly, like the bride in Psalm 45, she's wrapped up like a present and presented to the bridegroom. Jesus presents us with a similarly bewildering picture where we're condemned if we fast and condemned if we eat and drink. Like children, this generation complains of anything that does not conform with whatever dancing or wailing it has chosen in the moment. How is wisdom to choose the deeds by which she will be vindicated when she's surrounded by moral chaos? Come to me, says Jesus calling to us in the midst of our own moral chaos. All you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Jesus reminds us that he is the bridegroom to whom we have given ourselves. We go, knowing only that we do not know the way in which we might be going. Take my yoke upon you, Jesus says, and learn from me for your souls. Jesus calls us to wrap ourselves in the possibility of honor and delight, noticing that it's Jesus who stands before us, saying, I am gentle and humble in heart. Jesus awaits us, longing to bring us into the tent of the full humanity he has received from his mother. In the midst of our own moral chaos, Let us bring ourselves with joy and gladness and enter this palace of the King. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.